on today's ProPresenter show how to add a third-party countdown in ProPresenter. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you with Renewed Vision Software ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. You know, from time to time I hear people ask the question, they say, Paul, I get that I can use the messages feature to add a countdown to a time or a certain amount of countdown time to my presentation, but I want something more dynamic. I tried to add it into the slide, but as soon as I go to another slide, like in a pre-service loop, it disappears. How do I do that? Well, this is what we're talking about today. It's actually really simple to do if you know where to do it. Now, I've gone up a notch from maybe what you want to do, but I wanted to show you how to go about doing it with some transparency, one of my favorite tricks, actually and um, give you some cool ideas of things that you can do. So let's head over to my computer and take a look. You may know that the normal way that we add a countdown is with this message dialog box. So I've set up a countdown, I set up the template, add the countdown, etc. Add it in by clicking show message. That's the normal way to do it. But what if you want more control? What if you want it to uh, maybe have a glitch? Maybe you want it to be really huge. Maybe you want it to just look different. Well, uh, first off, let me go ahead and remove this message. So let's click hide. And let me tell you how I would go about doing it. If you want to add um, a more fun countdown, you might think, well, I'll just add it here. But if you add it on any slide, then when it goes to the next slide, it'll go away. So that's not going to work. What you need to do is use props. So uh, let's go to action. Actually, it's view and then props. That's also control P and then you can choose the appropriate prop. I've actually set one up already and I'll tell you what I did for that. So I click this and you'll see this is a much bigger, uh, more interesting countdown. Now it's a little slow because I did this real quick and it's not perfect, but you can tell that I could pretty much do anything I wanted to with this. I actually made this countdown in Final Cut Pro, um, exported it as a ProRes 4444 file with alpha channel and transparency. So this is a video running on top of these slides that uh, are just the examples that come with ProPresenter. So it's really straightforward. So let me first click out of this, and then we'll go back into Proc. This time I'm going to do Control-P to get there. And what I want to do is click this little uh, pencil there. And this is the one that I added in. And you'll see that that is just actually it's a video. Now there's no reason why I couldn't make this smaller if I wanted to. Um, or move it, or whatever I wanted to do to it. You'll see that I didn't actually have it, you know, large and full screen. It was made to be in the lower right-hand corner like this. So, pretty straightforward. How I did that was I clicked this button here to add the movie in. And then I just went to choose it. Now I've got a 4K version of this. Um, 
actually this is the 4K version, this is mislabeled, it's actually a, t a 1080p version of this file that I made in Final Cut Pro. You can make it in Premiere, uh, After Effects, Motion, any of those, whatever works for you. But it needs to be ProRes 4444 if you want to get the transparency. Now you could absolutely, I'm going to click cancel because really all I did was find the file and then click OK and then it added it in. took a while because this 10 minute countdown is huge because it's got the alpha channel and everything in it. So you don't want to do this with with when you have a problem with um, file sizes when your machine is just barely working you now this is something that I'd recommend instead of a 10 minute countdown file maybe you'd want to do two minutes uh, just on the outside maybe run the message for the message countdown for however long up until and then use a, um, a scheduler to take that out and add this one in. That's a good way to do that. But um, you could also, instead of doing it like this, you could make a video that is just this corner, for example, and uh, it wouldn't have to have the transparency in it. It could have a just a border around it, something that makes a lot of sense. So there really are a lot of things you can do, but by putting it in the props layer, it doesn't matter what light I'm on, I could even be down here in the message if I wanted to be. I don't know why I'd want to be, but if I wanted to be, I could do that. Again, Control-P bring up the prop and see that goes no matter where we are in the presentation if I'm up here it's gonna continue on if I'm down here it's gonna continue on so it's really independent of the slides and that's the power of props and Thankfully, the folks at Renewed Vision have included this ability to use a video with transparency with it. It's going to be a little harder on the machine, but it is something that you can do um, with ProPresenter 6. Well, as it turns out, the props layer is the secret to this. Now, as I said, you don't have to do the transparency like I did. You could just have a regular countdown, maybe it's a full screen, and you just shrink it down and put it in one of the corners. No problem, that works well as, uh, as well. So that's just um, one of the great things that you can do in ProPresenter 6, and I hope that you'll take this opportunity to start dreaming about maybe how you can use props for adding things in a nonlinear fashion for games or for countdowns like I showed you today. If you like this content, you'd like my email newsletter, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash subscribe. There you can find even more tips and tricks. In fact, I just wrote one talking all about tools and why they really matter. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity.